Hello everybody, I'm Michael Reed of AuthenticAstrology.com. If you could use a general outlook of what lies ahead and how best to work with those energies constructively, why not head over to my Astrological Services page and book the Astrological Service of your choice? The link to that page is above. With some people, their bark is much worse than their bite. Ruff, ruff. And with some people, their bite is much worse than their bark. Right? But you know what? We know that there's also those people who are a little in between where both their bark, ruff, ruff, and their bite is pretty bad. And those people can be pretty vicious, right? And, you know, be quite honest, I may not seem like it, but I can be one of those people sometime. And I imagine that there's quite a few of you out there who are the same way from time to time, especially right now. But then there come those moments where you go, you know what? I don't want to bark and I don't want to bite and I really just feel like life should be a lot easier and that I shouldn't have to like muster so much strength in order to deal with the difficult scenarios that I'm involved in. And truth be known, you know what? It, it's not helpful to bark and it's not helpful to bite, but it is quite helpful from time to time to be strong, to be firm, to set boundaries, to say no, enough is enough, and I'm not going to go there anymore, or you can't go there with me anymore, or you can choose to go there with me, but I'm going to walk out the door because I don't want to deal with that anymore. So all of those things are choices, and all of those things are options as is doing absolutely, positively nothing. But right now you're dealing with a scenario where doing absolutely, positively nothing is not really going to help very much. As a matter of fact, you're in a position where you have to do something and you feel like you don't have the support that you need. And hey, let's face it, that's why you feel like you're wanting to both bark and bite, right? but you don't have the support that you need simply because you're not willing to support yourself. If you're expecting the support in dealing with this scenario to come from someone else or to come from something else, but it's not, it's only gonna come from you. And whilst you don't have to bark and you don't have to bite, it's not going to be helpful to be a lion that squeaks right? That's not going to get the job done. So even though you may be feeling a little bit timid inside and you may be feeling exhausted, you've got to keep moving on with the situation. So at the moment, even though you're feeling reluctant, keep the discipline together. Keep moving forward. Stay strong. Keep up the good work. It may seem like nothing is happening, but more is moving than you may imagine. In August, I'm starting two new courses, one which is on the elements of the Panchangam. These are the uh, factors that I use in the composition of my regular lunar transit videos and articles. In addition to that, I'll be teaching a course on the Lajatati Avastas, which help to show how the planets seek fulfillment through the horoscope, how they're hindered in those processes and supported in those processes, and how best to work with all of those energies. If you're interested in either of those courses, uh, please feel free to visit my, my, not the Astrological Services page, that would take you to the wrong spot, the Webinar Courses page, which is linked above. That's going to do it for this look at the Moon's Transit through Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra on the 20th of July, 2019. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.